it seems like over the years Ubisoft has lost its appreciation for the art of subtlety with Assassin's Creed especially, as now you can literally run about armed to the teeth with pieces of Eden. You of course have the legendary sword Excalibur, a spear called Gungnir, Thor's legendary hammer Mjolnir, and of course now the newly discovered Noden's Ark which I believe was discovered and posted about by Joraptor, please correct me if I'm wrong. Now after Joraptor's video went public about the bow, Darby McDevitt took to Twitter to tell us that that was just a brute force hack and there was an actual way to acquire the bow in game. At the time it wasn't known and now it is, courtesy of a video by Access the Animus that shows us what to do and how it was figured out. I'll leave a link to both videos mentioned so far in the description, as all credit for anything to do with this bow goes to them really. So I thought I'd go over the two ways you can acquire Node arc in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. First we'll do the cheese way, because who doesn't love cheese, and then we'll do the legit way. That's the one that isn't worth doing. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much of your time with this, I want to keep this as short as possible, so let's cut the bollocks and get cracking. So the location we want to head to is an island in a lake just a little distance southeast of the northernmost viewpoint you'll find on the entire map. Here you'll find what appears to be a breakable rock or pile of rocks, I don't quite know how it works. Usually inside them you find materials, however this one, unlike the others you might find, is not breakable. The exploit way to acquire its contents being the bow is to hit it a few times then save, reload, do that again and then save and reload again and then you should be good. You should now be the proud owner of Noden's Ark, the Isu bow. It worked when I tried it a couple of days ago, I don't know if they'll patch that or if they already have, I don't think they have. Maybe they'll leave it as a cool little exploit for people to do, I just don't know how that's going to look in the long term. So let's get on to the legit way. Again you come to the same uncharacteristically unbreakable rock at the same spot, but there are a couple of things that you need to do. Firstly and most painfully, you will need the legendary sword Excalibur. Now, now if you haven't acquired Excalibur yet, fortunately I do have a full guide available for you to check out where you can find out how to acquire the sword, which I will link at the end of this video, however if you're still playing this game there is a very good chance that this sword has not slipped you by. Next thing you do, you come to this location and make sure that you are swinging this sword at the rock as the sun sets. So position yourself near it, stand still and light attack it non-stop and you should be able to destroy the rock and acquire the bow. And that is how simple it is in practice. Huge credit to Access the Animus for figuring out how to acquire the bow the legit way. There's actually a really interesting process as to how they figured it out, so I 100% recommend you check it out. I can't quite figure out what increase attack means, but I believe it means it increases the attack damage of the bow the further you are away from your enemy, purely because I cannot imagine it meaning anything else. And now you can add it to your overpowered build if you so wish to, for example I was running around while also dual wielding Excalibur and Mjolnir because I have mastered hiding in plain sight. Oh fuck. I'm gonna be honest, the bow is at least a little bit more subtle than the sword or the hammer, so, you know, it's kind of fine. As for which path I recommend taking at the moment with regards to acquiring it, do I recommend you cheese it or do I recommend you do it the legit way? If you have the patience to wait until sunset, you can do it the authentic way that was intended, but depending on how lucky you get, that can take a bit more time. And sure, you can meditate, but you can't really choose when you come out of that, so it's a little bit hit and miss and it can take a while. But if you miss your timing and mess up, you may have to wait another in-game day to be able to acquire it. As for the exploit, while it's there and it works, use it. I don't see any reason why not. It just saves you from spending time standing around over a rock waiting for sunset. Now I don't know if you're going the exploit route if you need Excalibur in that version as well. If you're going to give it a go, let me know your results down in the comments. Either way, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it's been at least somewhat helpful. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be fantastic. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. But until next time, take care and goodbye.